Hello world. Today on Tech News Media, we'll be presenting you with the latest and greatest in tech news. On September 25th, Mark Zuckerberg held a Meta Connect where you could find everything and anything Meta. Zuckerberg was able to unveil the Meta Quest 3S, starting at $299 and not only that, but also lowering the price of the Meta Quest 3 going from $649 to $499. Although the 3S is coming in at $299, sporting the same chip, battery life, not everything is fine and dandy because it did have to cut some corners. Things like lowering the resolution from 4K to HD, as well as having a slightly more narrow field of view. Although those things are important, I think that they're fine to sacrifice given the price difference. And as long as it performs similarly to the MetaQuest 3, I think this is going to be a very great grab for those who look at VR a lot more casually than gaming. Maybe they do a lot more streaming on VR. I think this is gonna be a very great grab. Our next story, you might wanna go check on your laundry because this company might have already folded it for you. In a world where we have the Z Flip, the Z Fold, and Apple's getting criticized for not doing anything new, the Mate X is a breath of fresh air. Now don't be going for your wallet too fast. This phone does come in at a whopping $2,800 just at its starting price. And not only that, you could actually only get it in China. So moving on. Lastly, the company Nothing is making some noise with some new earbuds. Coming in at a whopping 149 and probably giving you some of the best transparency mode that has ever existed. Now this headphone at its base looks like a runner's headphone, something that would secure around the ear, but this is actually all part of its design. This design is actually so that way the driver of the headphone actually sits away from your ear, allowing you to listen to the world around you. And I know what you might be thinking. I don't want anybody to know that I'm secretly listening to Taylor Swift but nothing has you covered there too. See, the way that noise cancellation typically works is that you want to drown out the outside world. The way that headphones do it now is that they play the exact same frequency just in reverse so it gets canceled out effectively. But nothing's found a way to basically reverse this process for the outside. So ideally, nobody else can hear what you're listening to so you can keep listening to You Belong With Me because everybody knows that's the best song. Our final story will be about a 24-year-old male who throws an iPhone 15 Pro off a second-story ledge to test case durability. More on that at seven. So I hear that Apple is going to have an event. I know, I know. I hear the MacBook Pro, the iMac, and the Mac Mini are all getting upgrades, but the Mac Studio is getting left out. I know. It's running the old M2 technology. Might as well give it an upgrade while you're at it. But get this, if you've gotten an iPad within the last 32 days, it's time to return that thing. And I'll tell you why. The iPad mini and the iPad 10th generation are finally getting a refresh. I know, I know, finally. It's been three years since we got any sort of a refresh for the iPad mini. I got so impatient that I went and got an iPad Air M1. <laughs> Oh stop, you'd do the exact same thing if you were in my shoes. Now personally, I would also love to see at least 90 hertz refresh rate on the iPad mini, but we all know that's not gonna happen and they always say it's pro motion for the 120 hertz and just give it to us peasants, really, truly, right, right? Right now it's rocking an A15 Bionic and it'll probably just be brought up to the A18. I know, I know, I wish it had an M1 as well. Give it some more horsepower. And that's really all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.